hey y'all welcome back to another video i today is sunday may 29th and we have a lash class today so i'm gonna be taking you guys with me on my little journey today um i pretty much got everything set up i got here like an hour early um today and I'm pretty much all set up. So I'm just waiting on my students to come. I went and got some donuts and everything. So we gonna just wait for her to come. Um, and if you guys are new here, my name is Naya. Make sure to subscribe, like, and turn your, no your no post notifications just so that you can be able to get notified every time I upload a video. Um, so yeah, y'all, I pretty much got up this morning. I got in mode, got my, um, got my breakfast. I got me a little bit of coffee. And I also went out and got some stuff for my student. So we pretty much just waited until the class and then um, I'm gonna take y'all with me through every little step that we do with today. Uh, oh, jeez Louise. Todd is not the word. I had a long night last night, y'all. But um, I had a long night last night, but y'all, we can be in here. Sit higher. Instead of lower, you're sitting higher. So you're directing out, and what you're actually doing is covering the outer corners, which are okay. So remember your clients should always have like a clean surface so whenever you're going in a lot of times i use like a cotton round and i'll go in and like just wipe off the surface and i'll use like witch hazel mm -hmm. or something that can basically remove the oils from the from the lashes um and i'll do that wipe here wipe on the lashes and then wipe around um if they do have lashes on you want to be gentle though um and then from there we'll go in with our primer and uh, normally I'm spraying on the side and I'm only doing like really you only need like one pump and I kind of like dab it off a little bit just because you don't want it to be too wet going into their eyes but you go in and you just literally just wipe it a little bit because this is just the primer is used just so that you can clear off any of the debris that they may have So when you're doing after you do that you'll normally have a garbage on the side of you you go ahead and dispose of it and then while they're just sitting you'll just allow them to just dry for a little bit both sides they should be pretty dry and then i'll get um before normally if you already know what type of lashes your clients are going to like then all you have to do is, all you have to do for your clients is make sure that you have all the lashes prepped and ready already. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes what I like to do too is I like to have my tape prepped. So I'll have my tape literally just pulled it out and I'll put it on the side like right here, which you'll see me doing when my, when my client comes. But today we're going to do a cat eye type of mapping. So we're going to use lengths 12. 13 and 14 and normally when I get the lashes out I normally use my tweezers to do so because it's going to be hard to try to do it without it and then I have this little sticky pad it's very very sticky after a while it kind of is still sticky but it loses its stickiness basically so I just line them up like this on the pad and then those, that way I know in order which way I'm going to be doing the lashes. Um, if you want to, you can also write out a map right here. So you can put on here, um, just because it'll make it a little bit easier, the starting point, which is going to be right here. And then um, the length we're going to use here is 12. So all lashes in between here and here will be only 12s. And then here we'll do 13s and then we'll get that little section and then the rest will just be 14s until the end of the lash so that's going to be a shorter to longer mm -hmm. type length and then we'll do the same thing over here um 12s and you kind of want to make them as close as you can to being the same on both sides 14s right here. 
start right here since that's like the easiest right <laughs> um but you could also isolate like this to where you just move these all to the side because there's nothing blocking it um but i'm going to isolate like this because it's the most simple for me and when i'm pulling the this is one thing you need to note too when you're pulling the extension off you want to get a good grip of it um but when you pull it off you want to pull it off a little bit more than halfway so you don't pull it off from here at the bottom mm -hmm. you don't pull it up from way at the top either you're literally just doing a little bit more than halfway and i'm just pulling it up once i pull it up and i have that lash that i want i'm going ahead and placing it into the glue just a little bit just halfway really you don't want to allow the glue to touch the tweezer at all because once it touches the tweezer then it's stuck to the mm -hmm. tweezer and you won't be able to place it on the lashes so i go in with dip it in the glue and i kind of wipe it off just mm -hmm. a little bit and then when i'm going in to place it i'm literally just sliding it down onto the natural lash and i'm slowly releasing it you see how slow mm -hmm. i released it and since i feel like it's if you feel like it's pretty straight enough then you can kind of just leave it there without trying to fix it mm -hmm. but completely attached and also leaving that little bit of uh -oh. also leaving that little bit of space in between the lash line and the extension itself hello stranger it's been a minute since we last kicked it and by the way just got in town and i won't let you me this cloud all in the sky Ruin my vibe Usually I don't do this often But since recruiting isn't an option Due to unusual rain and thunder Baby, I wonder Baby, I wonder Put your, put your sweats on Put your sweats on I got the plug, I made the call for free mm -hmm. I'm talking late night for ya Let me lay a great time on ya Don't hesitate, no, don't you Ready? I'm gonna just have you stand right here in front of okay. this little wall I'm gonna do it a photo and then I'm gonna do a hair Good morning y'all and welcome to another freaking vlog so today is monday it is may 30th oh my gosh y'all it's about to be june in like two days but i'm walking into the gym right now um and i'm in good spirits i actually was having a rough week last week but it's okay because we're back and we're better and we're gonna have a good productive week this week. And what else do I have to tell y'all? So today I have a couple things on my list. I actually came up with like a weekly business plan. I'm gonna show y'all what, oh, somebody's playing their music in their car very loud. But I'm gonna show y'all what um, my business, weekly business plan looks like. It's like, y'all, it's literally like 7 o'clock in the morning. What's going on? Um, but, yeah, so I have a weekly business plan I got together. And I'm going to show y'all what it looks like when I freaking um, get back to the house. But right now we're about to work out. So stay tuned for the workout. And then I'll just update y'all on what I got planned for the day.
today so I don't really have the energy but we're gonna get through this so that's the move for right now I'm waiting on my girl as she should be walking in here shortly and my camera's about to die so I will see you guys after Because he took hold of me as tight as he could and he began to speak to me. 
And I fussed and I fought trying to break away, but he just wouldn't let me go free. He said, don't get tired of doing good. In due season, you will reap if you do not give up. And I said, you know what, Lord, you already took too long. My mind is already made up. I asked him what took him so long to respond anyway and why I just couldn't fit in. And he said, don't conform to the behaviors of the world. No mm. good will come from your sin. Yes, mm. yes, yes. But I'm tired of living my life like this. Nobody appreciates the good person I try to be. And then he asked, well, are you living for the world? Mm. Or are you living to please me? You see, you have a good heart, your intentions are pure, don't allow anyone to take that from you. And people may not appreciate your goodness and your kindness, but believe me when I tell you, I do. Mm -hmm. So stop sitting here feeling sorry for yourself, you have no idea what I have in store for you. Good. Don't allow the distractions and temptations of the world to distract you from what I have for you. Because I understand everything you go through, even when you think that I don't. And I'm answering your prayers day in and day out, even when your lack of faith tells you that I won't. Mm -hmm. Come on. So you be a good person. You keep a good heart. You keep doing all the things that please me. Because everything that you are doing right now are seeds for the harvest I'm preparing for you to reap. Mm -hmm. oh. Beautiful black girls are on the rise everywhere. <laughs> We're falling in love with ourselves again. You can't tell us anymore that we are pretty for a black girl because shit, we know we look good, period. Okay, period say that again. <laughs> period, po. And you can't call us nappy head anymore without us saying thank you because we've embraced our kinky hair and all our nappy roots. See, the weaves are coming off and the coils are coming out. I'm declaring and I'm decreeing this is a beautiful blackout. Yeah. Ow. Ow. You see, we're happier. <laughs> we're free. We travel, shop, we eat, we wave. Babies get to greasy. This is self-discovery. My eyes can see is that beautiful black girls are on the rise everywhere. Building businesses, building each other, celebrating our fellow women. We are vulnerable with life again, walking in our true identities, breaking the shackles and stereotypes that once used to weigh us down. You see, beautiful black girls are on the rise everywhere. So, prepare yourself for the overload of melanin, honey, and gold. Prepare yourselves for the synonyms like brave, courageous, and bold. Prepare yourselves for the strength and passion that for so long was mistaken as anger because beautiful black girls are on the rise everywhere. Yes. everywhere. Now with that being said, <laughs> I'm that 4C kinky type black girl. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that curvy, no streets of sidewalks black girl that Dipped in chocolate, good for the metabolism, black girl, that eat it up and drink it till you're full, black girl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm that hot water cornbread and collard greens, black girl, that soul food and mind stimulating, black girl, that extra seasoning, extra sugar, no cane, black girl, mm. that big booty, but even bigger brain, black girl. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mama, she's the one that I'm a cuff, black girl, that confident, classy, but still tough, black girl, that you are away more than enough, black girl, that edges laid with my hair locked up, black girl. Yes. 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 Thick hair and thick hips, black girl, that slick mouth and big lips, black girl, that keep walking and don't trip, black girl, that you always got this, black girl. See, I'm that summertime fine, but cold, it's winter, black girl. The fire that you need to burn your wood, black girl, that mm-mm and mm -mm. Good black girl, that <laughs> that gentle and sweet, but still wish you would, black girl. See, I'm a black girl in love with my melanin. Black girl, so wise and intelligent. Black, black girl, girl. So love is what I'm selling. Yes. Them. The black girl, yeah. she will always be relevant. What? Black, black girl. girl. In love with my melanin. Black girl, so wise and intelligent. Black girl, so love is what I'm selling them. Black girl, she will always be relevant. Yeah. Yeah. Today, I am crowned as the queen that I am. You may crown your partner. Yes. This is exciting. <laughs> I'm a love to something. I'm a crown of something. Yes, you may. Yes, there we go. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another video. Y'all, I am currently walking MJ 
It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Yep, it's 7.51. And I woke up in a good space this morning. I woke up listening to my gospel music and just preparing myself for the day. So, y'all have not been tuned in with my life lately. And it has been crazy. I've been dealing with a few silent battles, but we getting through it, girl. We made it through. Um, so... Yeah, I'm up early. I got some things planned for today, so I'm gonna take y'all on my journey today. And I will see y'all, I guess I'll see y'all when I actually get active for real. Right now, I'm just letting him out. I think I'm gonna go make me a smoothie though, for sure. Um, So I'll see y'all in a little bit. I'm recording. <laughs> Fix it. Just knock down how to cute. Oh, uh. well, let me get one of these real quick. <laughs> Ooh, I'm hot, y'all. Uh, we got us some sushi, some chips, some Slim Jims. We got a couple things we're going to take to the movies with us later. And some fruit. This is so cute. Y'all, I have not vlogged in like two weeks. I have just been going through a roller coaster of events. But we here and everything is getting better. So, um, I did move into my place, which I will be giving y'all an update on everything. I kind of started like putting stuff together, um, like little by little, but I kind of don't want to really show the place until I have everything like together. So I'll probably do like a um, furnished apartment vlog when I do my housewarming party. So we're doing like a little small housewarming. Y'all, so a couple weeks ago, maybe like two weeks ago, I had to get a whole new car out of nowhere. Didn't even know like my car was gonna be messed up or nothing. Like my car started overheating and it was just a mess. So I got a new car, which I'm gonna show y'all my car too. It's I really love it compared to my old car. Like it's definitely a big upgrade and it's a 2021 so maybe yeah i'm excited about that so um today though i am on my way to go get a wax for my girl Sai. um and then i think i'm gonna go like pass out a couple business cards stop at a couple stores because i need a lamp i found a lamp at big lots and they only had one left and they said they have 12 at the other location so i'm gonna go um I'm gonna go try that store and then I'm gonna also go to Burlington and see if they got this plant because I only got one of the plants and I need two of them to, to go in my bathroom. So while I'm out and shopping and everything, I'm gonna go out and like pass out some business cards because today is Tuesday. So I kind of dedicate Mondays and Tuesdays toward, um, Mondays and Tuesdays are like slow days for me business wise. So. I'm dedicating those days to like traditional marketing strategies, which is like getting back out here and doing the footwork and like really um, working or like just word of mouth basically. So that's the move for today, y'all. This he, I know he gonna park in the parking parking spot that I want. He always do. But that's it for now y'all i'm just about to get my wax i guess i could take y'all in here while i get waxed y'all and i haven't got waxed even though that's like tmi it's not y'all business but i haven't got waxed in almost a month like girl then when i tell y'all y'all do not even understand i have been going through like so many things and i just like i finally have gotten to a place where i feel more focused and adamant to get back on like a routine so now that i'm there i'm like okay let's get this thing going but let me get in here because i don't want to be late i'm vlogging uh-uh really hell no i just want them to see my facial reaction <laughs> oh i'm kind of scared it's been a month <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. Oh. It wasn't even that bad. It wasn't bad? No. 
It came off though. It did? Yeah, your skin looked good. It looked lighter? Yeah. It's the peel. Yeah, it looks good. Wow, it does. Like those dark spots? Girl, I need one back. Ooh. Jesus. <laughs> That's not even the worst part. Y'all, I just made it to Burlington. And I'm just looking right now because I'm just trying to figure out. I really came here for two things. One being, well, actually three things. One being something to put inside of my vase. And then a plant. And then, oh, really two things. Because I have to go to a different store for the lamp that I was looking for. So I'm just browsing. Maybe I should put like a little flower in the center of the bathroom be cute this is cute or this one Oh, this will be cute. I'm gonna just put this in my cart for now. Anyways, they're playing music. They're playing music, so I'm gonna call y'all back. Yeah, so it was really like a lot of old people in there. So, I wasn't able to, like, pass out that many business cards, but I did pass out one to the girl who was, um, I passed out one to the girl who was actually just, uh, at the front ca cashing me out. I was gonna say, like, I just bought this thing. So y'all, yeah, I bought this little diffuser for my car. And mm -hmm, it's been acting weird. But I'm about to head to Big Lots because, and maybe I'll go to at home. I wasn't able to find the, I wasn't able to find the freaking plants. I knew I should have just, but they only had one last time I went to Burlington to get the plant that I'm looking for. So it's kind of like weird. But um, let's see, Tempe. Excuse me, 13 minutes. I hope it's, is it by F? whatever we just gonna go to this one but um <clears throat> but yeah so they didn't have the plant that i was looking for or whatever so i'm gonna have to go to the other big lots in 10 p because well no not the plant why am i talking about the plant i need a, another plant too but i'm really looking for this lamp that I, I already got one of them i need another one so to put on my other nightstand so that's what i'm getting ready to do now but i am also very hungry so i might have to stop and grab me something to eat really quick too who's first go ahead do your thing um but yeah so drop y'all so anyways i will see y'all once i get to the store hopefully they're not playing music in there because that would suck but yeah after i do this though it's it's only 10 o'clock y'all so it's very early 
But after I do this, then I'm gonna be headed back home because I got some work to do. Like I have to edit a video for y'all. And then later on tonight, I'm going to Pilates. So I just really need to get a lot done before I go to Pilates later. Um, but yeah, so that is what's going on with me. And I guess um, if you got this far in the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, and click that notification bell just so that you can be notified every time that I upload a video. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to spend some time promoting and things like that while I'm out. And then I am going to go get me something to eat. I should have brought my laptop with me, honestly. I should have brought my laptop with me, but it's okay. I'll just work from home. And yeah, I need to edit my reel, upload my reel, and all of that. So I will see y'all in a second um, when I get to the freaking... When I get to the freaking store and hopefully they got what I need because I'm not about to be doing donuts around this around this place trying to find a plant. I'm just not gonna do it. Alright, bye. Narco got dope like Pablo. Pablo cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope, chop tree with the Draco. Draco on the north got Diego. Diego. Say I still a wiggle. We'll be in rapping kilo. Snub nose with potato. No monkey in the jungle, fly high like a sauna. Bouncing off and I'm trying to weep an anaconda. Jumping in the water, trying to sleep across the water glass. See, you always I got my big bag for Ronald. I'll bag it. Bag of money, knew I gotta have it. Savage. Put up till the gentleman in the Cali. Atlantic. Nigga, turn him in about the cabbage. Uh, and it's all family if you run off with the fish. I just put it back on the way to Bogota. Pack. Focus. Y'all, so I made it home. And I'm over here putting up these nightstands. So, I'm gonna let y'all kind of see a little bit what I'm doing. Let me see. So I pretty much put up the, the uh, nightstand. Let me show y'all how it looks. It just looks like this. Ooh, what's wrong with this camera? Jesus. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, this is how the nightstand looks. And I got this little lamp on both sides. So, yeah. We might need to take him on a walk. Let's take you for a walk. And I'm about to edit my YouTube video when I come back in. Um, and then a couple minutes or in a couple hours, I'm going to cook. And then we're going to go to Pilates. Made a little dinner. Blackened salmon, asparagus, and mac and cheese. And I know it's already good because I tasted it. So, yeah. I know. 
normally be making me a <clears throat> smoothie. Well, like protein shake. Do I like this angle? I don't know. Anyways, I'm making me like a little protein shake. And I just put a little water. Actually, you know what I should do first? I should pour the powder in first this time. Because sometimes the powder be like spilling over. Still spilled over a little bit, but we can clean that up. Then I'm just water. Put a little water in there. And then I forgot to take my chlorophyll earlier, so I'm about to take my chlorophyll right now. Put a couple drops in. MJ. Yeah, ever since we moved, MJ been acting real scary like him like he's been so in shock of just being here so we're still trying to get him used to being at the new house Pilates looks good as always. Um, Ashley couldn't make it today, so I just went by myself. I think, and we also like this summer are the Pilates class that we go to is having like free classes all summer until like August thirty first. So I am gonna be going to Pilates a couple times more than I was before because why not take advantage of free classes? Like, who wouldn't? Especially Pilates. I'm not take MJ on a walk though. I'm gonna take MJ on a walk and then I guess once I get done, um, once I get done taking him on a walk, I think I'm gonna come in here and get in the shower and edit my YouTube video because tomorrow we get internet. We've been waiting on internet y'all for basically since Friday. So, we are in a Tuesday, so we've been without internet for a couple days.